Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, On One Software have updated On One Photo Raw to version 2022.5. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new in this version of On One Photo Raw. Now, it is a free update to anyone that already owns On One Photo Raw 2022. When you open the software, it should prompt you to download the update. If it doesn't, you could go up to the help menu and down to check for updates. Now, the main new thing in this version of On One Photo Raw 2022 is that they've integrated On One's Resize AI 2022 into it. Those of you familiar with On One's products know that a month or two ago, they've updated Resize AI or Resize to Resize AI 2022. Now, that's integrated here. Now, I'm not in this video going to give you a complete how to demo on how to use Resize AI. I do have those videos made and I'll have a link to them in the description below this video, but I do want to show you how to access it from within on One Photo Raw 2022. When you have an image such as this one, if I open up the crop tool, you'll see that I cropped away most of the pixels. So it is rather low resolution right now. This is a good candidate to send to resize because if I wanted to get a large print from this, I probably wouldn't be able to get a high quality print because it's such low resolution. So to resize it, to access resize AI from within on one photo raw is you would go over here in the lower right hand side, see this little resize icon, click on that and it will open the image up into resize AI 2022 in it has full functionality here. One thing I want to note, it has a crop tool within Resize AI 2022, and they've added reset to the crop tool. That apparently wasn't there earlier. So you could reset your crop from within Resize AI 2022 now. Also, um, now let's go just very quickly. You want to resize it. You have all different ways you could resize it by the dimensions. Uh, you could resize the long edge, then the short edge will get automatically resized accordingly or vice versa. You could do a width and height resizement, a megapixel resize. Uh, let's go with percentage and let's just make it like 200%, right? So we're gonna make it twice as large. Um, you could go to settings and they have these two new methods now. It's resize AI standard and resize AI faithful. General Fractals is the old method that was in previous versions, and that is there if you want to use it. But the other one of the other two should probably work better. Um, could add some sharpening to it. Screen, let's say. And you could do before afters over here. There's a preview button. You just click on that, and there's before and there's after. You also could use the backslash key on your keyboard. There's before after. Also, if you click right here. You get this line, and with this line, you could do a before or after that way. And I don't have it heavily sharpened, but if I wanted to, maybe more sharpened, you'll see a better kind of before or after. So that's that. And then when you're all done, you would go down to the lower right and click done. And when you do it, it will prompt you to save it. Now it's not going to re edit the original raw file, right? So it's going to prompt you to save it. And I'll click done just to show you. And you could see it by default wants to save it as a PSD. So you could save it to the same folder you were in, and then it will automatically be in on one photo raw uh, 2022. I'm not going to, I'm just going to cancel out of that. And if you do want to cancel out of everything, just click on cancel. So that is the main new thing. They've integrated resize AI 2022 into on one photo raw 2022. Now, other than that, everything else is kind of an improvement. Uh, the main thing they've done to no noise is they added a new method that works better on non-RAW files. So if you have a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD file that has noise, for example, I have this JPEG image. You can see there's a considerable amount of noise. They've added a new method that works better on these types of files. To get to no noise AI from within on one photo raw 2022. You go to noise and sharpening and click on no noise AI. It automatically will zoom in a little bit and it will automatically, because it's not a raw file, it will automatically add the new method. The new method is called high detail. 
The original is there if you wanted to use it, but high detail is the new method and it will automatically use high detail on non-RAW files. So that's JPEG, TIFF, and PSDs. This is a JPEG and it has this slider here. And you can see there's the before and there's the after and there's before and there's the after. Now, if you just want to compare it to the original, let's try the original, let it render. And there's before and after. Before, after. Let's leave the after there. Let's see if there is a difference. That's the original. Now here's the new method that works on JPEG, TIFFs, and PSD called high detail. Let it render. And bam. Yeah, definitely more detail. So that does work really nice. So if you're not a raw shooter, this is probably a significant new feature of the no noise. And you can see it effectively removed the noise. Um, there was a, quite a bit of noise in this image, and it did a really nice job of getting rid of it. So when you're done, just click done over here on the right, and you're done with no noise. Now, the um, other thing they've done is they've improved the sky swap. Uh, here, let's just take this image that I'm sure most of you are tired of seeing because I've used it a lot. Let's go to sky swap. And let's uh, go to the category. You know, I like those... Uh, Ocu drone sky. So let's go here and not that sky. Let's go to this guy. All right. Now um, they've improved it so it works better around trees, they said. Uh, and it looks pretty good. But I want to shift the horizon up anyway. I want to make this up here more. Ooh, not much. Maybe like that. And I want to add a reflection. Now, what I really like about on one's sky replacement uh, functionality is that when you add the reflection, you could shift the reflection vertically. You cannot do that. You cannot do that with um, Luminar. And I wish they would add that to Luminar, but I'm glad they have it here so that you could really match it. So it's, it's perfectly like the way it is up here. Like this tree is barely touching this cloud up here so you can move that and you could do the amount so how strong you want it or how weak you want it that looks pretty good so um yeah that's nice i like that they've uh added that um or they've improved this functionality um you know the luminar version of the sky replacement has been out now for like two three years so technology-wise, there are several iterations ahead of On1. And I think when On1 first came out, it wasn't nearly as good. I did demonstrations on that where I showed how it didn't recognize a lighthouse and it put the clouds in front of the lighthouse. And On1, to their credit, saw my video and they asked me for some of my images so that they could improve the sky swap in on one so I gave them my images and they definitely improved it in the next iteration so that it worked better and it was consistently behind the buildings and not in front of the buildings and now they're improving it for the tree so um, I like that I like that they're responsive um, to you know what customers request or need now um, as you know there are standalone plug-in versions of Resize AI and No Noise AI and the, um, not of the Sky Replacement, but of those Resize AI and No Noise AI. As of today, there is an update available for Resize AI 2022. So when you open that plug-in version or standalone version of that app, it will prompt you to download the update. Again, you could go up to the help menu and check for updates on that application as well. But as of today, there isn't an update for the no noise AI standalone plugin version. And that of course includes that new method that works better on JPEGs, TIFFs, and PSD. So hopefully they'll have that update for that standalone app soon. So look for that if you own the standalone apps. Now, beside that, um, some things I didn't demo, there's, um, Better batch processing, they say in Resize AI. You can now open multiple photos at once or an entire folder 
and they appear in the film strip. From here, you can adjust and sync settings across multiple photos. Then use export to control the destination, naming, file type, etc. So better processing and resize AI. Um, let's see. Oh, you know, let's go to browse and let's go to a raw file. Let this save its settings. And this is a raw file right here. And if we go to the edit, they have better lens corrections now. So if we go to lens corrections, this is one thing I actually um, didn't care for with previous versions of On One Photo Raw. They kind of used a public database for lens corrections. Now they're much better. Um, they're calling it Lens Match Automatic. They're calling it the Lens Match Automatic Lens Correction can detect and remove distortion when shooting raw with camera maker match lenses. This does away with the need for external lens profiles for many users. Lens corrections can also remember user manual profile adjustments so they can be used as defaults for a lens. Plus, we have added lens profiles for over 200 lenses. So I like that feature as well. So that's new lens corrections. And they've added support for the Canon EOS R5C, Panasonic Lumix, DC, G GH6, OM System, OM-1, Leica M11, M11 uh, Fujifilm X-T30II, and the Nikon Z9 Normal Compression RAW Files. So hopefully you got that through all my stuttering and stammering. Um, I'll have that listed in the description below this video as well. So that's it. It's everything that's new and exciting in this latest version of On One Photo Raw 2022. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>